What's up, YouTube? Jay here. I came to the vet with Kelly. She's ready to go. Um, so I called up Lalo and I told him to get everything from Walmart and pass what we needed. So I told him to record. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm on my way to the house to get everything ready, like the incubator and, you know, sanitize everything ready for them. It takes about an hour and a half to get them back. So I'm on my way right now and uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm on my way to Walmart at Pestmart to get a bucket and a blanket for Jay. All right, guys, we're here at Pestmart. Um, we need to get some feedback for the incubator so it can wrap around me. I highly recommend you guys get that extra large one. Yeah, Walmart, uh, we're just gonna grab this bucket and we'll grab the blanket. Hey guys, we're back home now. We got back here from Cali, met up with Carlos. He went to Walmart, Petsmart, to get all the things we needed for the stuff. He got the P packs, the extra large P packs. We want to show him a great choice one. I think this is a great choice. It's just for them to, for the purposes to be clean in there. You don't need an absorbent one, and you know it's they're still pretty expensive. Uh, than that we got everything we need to to get the litter ready. We have this incubator we got from Simply the Best Kennels. Very great, I have two of these in case something happens to this one. I've used this for three litters. I have extra large gloves, Clorox wipes. Right here we just got Bucky's Fat Boys and Ivy's food. We use Petlac Puppy Milk Replacement. Boil some water, put it in here. Fill the cup, put about two or three scoops of this, mix it up, put the kibble that I use to feed my puppies. I use Victor's. I give them about, uh, I think, one fourth of a cup right now. I put some of this to, just to cover up the milk, just to cover up the kibble. And it should look a little bit like this. Just kind of fattens them up. I also give them milk to drink as well as water. So that's their meal. And just, we're just waiting on Kelly and the Kelly's doctor to tell us it's ready when we're waiting for a call. First time it's kind of hard. Um, a little technique that I do is I put the mom's nipple between my fingers and I put his little head right in front of it. Usually they take it. If they don't take it like that, I just come here. He's been eating, she's been eating for a while. I put my finger right here. She starts sucking on it. I bring her right back to the mom's nipple. She knows the move already. And they attach pretty easy. If you guys have any questions on how to help you guys out with attaching the puppy to the mom, DM us. We will help you whatever we know. We'll give you all the information that I did, all the tricks that I have. If any comments and questions, let us know. Be on my Instagram, Infamous Frenchies. When you get them all latched on, just keep an eye on them. Some tend to fall asleep, just give them a little tap and tap. Wake them up. The mind that they're eating, they're still very fairly new, a couple hours. So it gets easier as days goes on, but day one is always the hardest. Uh, I'm happy they last on. All four girls last on pretty, pretty fast. So very happy for that one. The mom is just relaxing there. Make sure she has plenty to eat and drink before each feeding. You wanna bring me closer so you can see uh, how they're eating. We use gloves just for uh, safety reasons. Bacteria and germs and stuff like that. 
all of these hand sanitizer. Any, any of it works. Looking like they're wrapping it up. Um, they're all falling asleep. That's when you kind of kind of tell when they're done as well. Uh, I usually keep them 15 to 25 minutes to paint on the puppy, but it all depends on the puppy. Like right now they're all asleep and I kept on waking them up when they're not eating. It's okay because I'm going to feed them in two hours. Uh, the first couple of days I feed them two hours. The first couple of five to seven days I feed them two hours. Just make sure that any of them miss any type of feed meals. Uh, we fed them. Yeah. Right now we're going to, uh, my brother's going to pick up Callie because she's usually under uh, the medication and I don't want her uh, just stepping on lines like that. So we'll put her away and we'll show you guys how we clean them and how we go from there. So. Pickle Get wipes, unscented wipes, um, fragrant, uh, fragrant free. I go to Walmart. I get the eighteen hundred pack for, I think eighteen ninety nine. It's a killer deal. Get one of these. And you're gonna use the wipey like um, the mom's mouth, kind of like the mom's tongue. You're gonna get in there and clean her. I do this so my puppies and my moms don't get any infections, don't get any UTIs. I have heard a lot of cases of that. So we go ahead and use wipes for that. Uh, I bring them a little close. Come close, I don't know if you can see right here. They pee on the, on the thing. I do it over a pee pad. One, I, it's an easy cleanup. Two, it gets the scent to the puppy that this is where they're gonna be doing potty and business. Give them one easy wipe, soft, gentle. Make sure they're, you can see, trust me, they'll be able to see if uh, no more pee comes up. I do over there. Right now, they're not moving too much. I kind of wipe their face off for any excess milk from mommy. There. This one's all done. Put her back. And actually, always change your wipe, um, even though you didn't really use it. Yeah, I mean, $18 for 1800 uh, go ahead and use the second wipe. Which is your favorite? 